Acura is an interesting company. Once capable of producing cars like the NSX and various Type R vehicles, it is now a company kept afloat by their SUV sales. Acura hopes to change that with this, the Acura TLX, which actually replaces both the TL and the TSX. But is the car good enough? Let's find out. Now normally if you want to set the world's hair on fire with Stan, you want to bring a real looker to the table. And while the TLX is handsome, it doesn't exactly send my pulse racing. So let's move on to the next topic. The TLX comes in three different flavors. There's a 2.4 liter front wheel drive mated to an eight speed automatic like the one I have here. There's also a three and a half liter V6 front wheel drive mated to a nine speed automatic. And there's an option for Acura super handling all wheel drive system. So with the TLX, uh, the interior is pretty comfortable. It's fairly high quality materials. Uh, there's heated leather seats for not just the front passengers, but also the rear passengers. So that's just a nice touch they have there. Acura stayed with their kind of dual screen system. Uh, so you have the bottom screen, which allows you to use uh, touch buttons as well as regular buttons. And the idea is that it just minimizes the amount of buttons you have on the dash, as well as another screen that you can keep your eye on. So you keep your eyes closer to the road. Um, Overall, the interface isn't bad, but I find that there's a bit of a learning curve to it and some of the menus are not quite as intuitive. Also, the nav system is similar to the Honda Fit that we just reviewed, and it's not that great, but uh, it is helped by this uh, rolly knobby thing. Now my favorite part, time to go for a drive. So like a lot of luxury vehicles now, the TLX hopes to capture the varying moods of its driver uh, by allowing you to configure how the car behaves uh, using what is called the IDS system, which is called, stands for Integrated Dynamic System. The IDS allows you to toggle between four different modes. Uh, there's an Econ mode, a Normal mode, a Sport, and a Sport Plus. Unlike a lot of other cars, you actually feel a big difference between the extreme modes. So like between Econ and Sport or Sport Plus, um, you definitely notice a huge difference in the way the car responds. So what this means is that it allows the car to have dual personalities. So if you feel like relaxing and you just want to drive in the comfort of the car, well then you can in Econ and Normal mode. And if you feel like getting on a bit, then you can do that too with Sport and Sport Plus. Now the 2.4 liter engine that I have here is similar to the K24A7 that was in the previous Acura ILX that I drove. And um, this car has been, this engine has been direct injected to make 206 horsepower at 6800 RPM and also 184 pound-feet of torque at 4,500 RPM. So it's actually got some somewhat decent gains over the old engine. Now the difference is it doesn't quite sound as good. It's just a little bit more thrashy and it's not as smooth feeling as the old engine so there's a bit less creaminess to it but it's pretty responsive, especially made it to this uh, eight-speed automatic. And for the most part, I found the power fairly adequate. Now, talking about the eight-speed automatic, it's a dual-clutch transmission made by Honda, and they didn't just keep it a dual-clutch, they actually had a torque converter in between. The whole idea is that you have some of the smoothness from the torque converter and some of the quick responses from the dual clutch. So in many aspects, it should blend the two benefits of the two transmissions together. So you have some very uh, smooth shifts. And when you're cruising around town in eco and normal modes, you don't even notice it. They're almost imperceptible. But when you're getting on it, you get some pretty good responses. You have basically rev matching downshifts, you know, 
could string together some nice ones. Right? <laughs> that is pretty good. Now, with the engine, it produces 206 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque, but they're fairly high in the rev range. And let's not forget that this car's got 3,500 pounds to lug around. So while the pace is definitely brisk and it feels adequate, if you're a real speed demon, this is gonna feel a little underpowered for you. Now, Acura spent significant time working on the car's suspension. And it's very obvious, actually, around town, especially in the eco modes, the suspension feels really compliant and really relaxing. You just feel like you're wafting around in this comfort. And that's a really good thing for a luxury car to have. But when you're on it, it's got pretty good body composure too, so it doesn't roll a significant amount. Now, originally when we shot this video, we had a huge segment on the precision all-wheel steering system and why it was so good and why I think it's actually the most important feature on this car. But we found it to be kind of drawn out and boring. So instead, we're going to summarize it into an eight second clip. The precision all-wheel steer adjusts the angle of the rear wheels to give you better stability at high speeds and under braking and better maneuverability under low speeds. But does it work? My God, Oof, there, this car should not be capable of doing that. There's just, <laughs> there's just no way. There's no way it should be able to do that. You just flick it into a corner. The rear steering just really helps the car come around. And it's a big luxury sedan. It's got 3,500 pounds to lug around, but it doesn't feel like it. As soon as you go through the corners, you are surprised by how it behaves. And um, it's, it's very impressive. The beauty of the all-wheel steering is that it makes this front-wheel drive car that weighs 3,500 pounds ridiculously neutral. And when pushed in corners, it's the tires that kind of let go first. So there's a bit of understeer, but then you feel a bit of that rear coming in to help you out. And it's almost like a simulated all-wheel drive car, which is so good. Will the TLX be the car that Acura takes to the promised land of luxury sedan success? Unfortunately, I neither possess a crystal ball nor a DeLorean to travel back to the future in, but I can tell you the TLX is a good car, perhaps Acura's best car right now. It has the ability to be both a cost cruiser as well as a pretty darn impressive sports sedan. All that and good gas mileage too. Whether or not the TLX will be a real sales competitor in this difficult luxury segment remains to be seen, but I certainly hope that for Acura's sake, it does. It is definitely worthy of it. When you want to feel on those, the econ mode, it's when I'm coming out, sometimes there's a bit of hesitation. Sometimes it's great 